oh no what did I do to the Jeep <laughs> but okay I have forgotten to film anything but Ali came by and uh, she helped me or I guess she did the tune-up all on her own um, new cap there's a distributor rotor under there new wires new plugs um, we already did the steering stabilizer and I've started disassembling the body to get it ready for paint. I gotta get the rivets drilled out of that thing. And uh, yeah, overall it is not rotten. This right here is the worst bubble on the Jeep. It's a little bit behind the taillights. And that spot right there. But overall, the body is super nice underneath all of the moldings. Look at those rocker panels. Mint. So yeah, I went and picked up uh, some new premium Chinese premium. fender. You can tell they're premium because they're Chang Jun, and everyone knows uh, Taiwan makes the best American car parts. So yeah, we got some new fenders that are going to be going on it. Um, now that I have access to everything, I'm going to freshen up the frame a little. Like This isn't going to be a body off restoration, but get the wire wheel in there where I can, wire brush, and uh, give her a fresh coat. But yeah, things are looking up. Uh, the interior is all in my house now or in my garage, because we ripped that out to give it a good clean. Um, we did clean the floors up and everything, but when I was cutting out the floor pan on the driver's side, which looked good from underneath, but from the top, um, all the water that was sitting soaked into the carpet from people's boots it made the floor pan a little rusty. Let me get a light so you guys can see a bit better. Look at that. It's all welded in and seam sealed. Still got to paint it. So some progress has happened. I honestly can't remember the last time I filmed. I remember we did a first start video yeah. and uh, maybe some other progress. Well, we'll see when this all gets edited together because <laughs> this is one of those like yeah. I work on it a couple times a month. But uh, this week it's going to be a hard push to get all the body work done and painted. I'll set up the camera and uh, you guys can see some of the sanding process. It's kind of repetitive, especially if you've watched some of our videos. You get the idea of how sanding works. the Jeep is sanded. There's just a little bit of filler I gotta use on this fender flare. Smooth it out a bit. The dents that are on the hood here are now mint. Um, there's still a really small wave in the hood right here. I don't know if you can even pick it up on camera. Well, maybe a little. But that I'm not gonna bother with. Um, this is kind of something you have to balance how much work you're going to put into a vehicle and how much it's really worth. Because this is a, what, 22 year old Jeep with 400 and yeah. something thousand kilometers. I feel like this is more work than people anticipated, including myself. That being said, it's going to look pretty damn good. So there's a little rust bubble here that's been fixed and filled. On the back here, there are those two metal patches. Those have been filled. Still got to go over them with some 400 grit just to smooth it out. Get no sanding marks. But, mint. Uh, the floors have been coated with like a floor epoxy coating stuff. It's the same stuff that I used on my Geo Tracker and that held up really well. So, figure why not use it on the Jeep because the Geo Tracker is basically just a Jeep. Kinda. 
Well, it's just about midnight, and I got everything masked. I still gotta give everything a nice wipe down with some wax and grease remover, then a tack cloth. You can see some of this is a bit dusty still. And, uh, yeah, I'm just too tired to do anything more today. I'm gonna come in early tomorrow morning, uh, give everything a once over with the tack cloth and de-dust, and then I think I'm gonna shoot it with paint. Fucking Sir Mix-a-Lot over here. <laughs> wow. This is a single stage, so I'm painting it kind of like I would a clear coat. You do a slightly drier first coat, just gives it a bit more texture and a bit more ability for the paint to stick. You can see the little wave in the hood that I was talking about. That's I didn't bother with that. But she's coming up nice. Oh yeah, and I didn't mask the windshield because it's all cracked up, so that has to be replaced anyway. Same tape. She's painted. Turned out pretty dang good, I tell you what. Especially for a single stage, she's got a lot of shine to it. If you can remember, this is where there was a little bit of rust. Hi. Then they had a body patch down there. And then another one down there. Yeah, she turned out nice. And this was my first time painting a single stage paint, or painting with a single stage paint. And really happy with the results. So now the hinges, you'll notice like there's light spots and like they're not very smooth. All the hinges, like door hinges and window hinges and for the hatch, will all be painted black along with the ones for the hood. Uh, oh yeah, the windshield. I didn't mask it. I think I said that because it needs to be replaced. Um, I might have to scrape a little bit off so I can see when I drive it to a windshield place. But yeah. And I love the front end of a TJ. It's just so classic. The doors. It's a little bit of orange peel, but again, we're not going for a show quality paint job here. This is gonna be a daily driver. Just want it to look good. There are the new fenders. Honestly, I feel like this is gonna look too good in the engine bay. I might have to detail the motor or something because it's all shiny and fresh. The rest of it looks like. Well, you guys can see what it looks like. Man, I'm happy with that finish. So much metallic flake in it, too.
All right, some more progress. She has fendors and doors. And the more I get to this thing, the more I want to keep it for myself. What is Jesse up to? I'm polishing stuff. Great. <laughs> Good time. Yeah. Yes, I got the doors on as well. Um, door seals are on. I still gotta put like the window winder and a couple screws for that. Those are all in the bag. But yeah, damn, she's gonna be one of the nicer looking TJs in Ontario. Most of them are rotted out. Uh, these, you can tell there is very little paint on them because they're all going to be done in bed liner. Along with that super faded handle. Yeah, look at that reflection. Almost too good for a Jeep. Be doing it all with the duplicolor truck bed coating. Seems like that should be a tough enough finish to put on that. Anyways. that it gives you. And there they are, all bedlined. Well, something looks different. Check those out. Check this music. In. Yeah, the music's pretty bumping. But yeah, I got to refinishing the wheels. Um, I couldn't find the SD card yesterday, so I didn't film me doing the rest of them. But I got three done so far, plus the spare done in the same style. It's just a different rim. Um, so basically what I've been doing, because these wheels are super corroded, this is actually one of the better looking ones that was on the back, but if you look close, she's fitted. So I'm wire wheeling all of the corrosion off, I'm polishing this lip, and then uh, bedlining the centers. I am digging the way that looks. So yeah, figure. off. Now this area I polished up with a scotch Bright pad. Um, you can go more and get it more shiny but it's a Jeep not a show car. Figure that's good enough. 
Now I'm gonna mask it off and paint it. All right, she's all masked off. I got it cleaned up with some like degree. So there it is after a couple coats. I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and give her one more coat and then unmask. Okay, and the last step, um, I take one of these wire wheels on a drill while the paint's still kind of wet but kind of dry. So after it's been sitting, I don't know, I'd say probably 20 minutes, and then I clean up where the wheel nuts go um, just because you don't want some thick bed liner goo between the wheel nut and the wheel as you torque it down. You want it to just be straight metal to metal. So yeah, clean those up. And that's what she looks like. Now, as it dries up, the bed liner smooths out a little bit and uh, it dulls down a little bit so then it looks more like this. And yes, I know I'm missing a wheel nut. But yeah, that's it for the wheel refinishing, I guess. Because then they were so corroded, they were kind of ruining the look of the Jeep. Okay, well, with the final wheel painted, I'm now on to the back bumper. Um, scuffed it up with the DA and 80 grit. Uh, I went over it, uh, over the plastic corners with the 80 grit as well. Then some degreaser to clean everything off. I'm not putting too much time and effort into this bumper, because if you look closely, you can see it is a bit dented right in the middle. Basically right about there. Uh, it looks like something rear-ended it, because it also broke the tow ball. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, so the dough ball I'm going to have to cut off, and that's when I'll paint and put a new ball on thereafter. I'm just focusing on the bumper for now. And, like I said, I just want to make it black. Um, eventually, it would be nice to build a rear bumper for this, because for the front, I will be building one. I just don't have the time, because we want to finish the Jeep before Christmas. So, for now... Bedliner. All right, there it is, all painted and unmasked. Like I said it wasn't looking for perfection here, especially with the big dent in the bumper. Just uh, get rid of all that faded and crappy looking gray. She's coming together though. <laughs>